My name is Paul Nurse, I'm president of um, Rockefeller University, and it's my real pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all of you. Now, this evening, we're here for a very special occasion. We are gathered together to celebrate the second annual presentation of the Pearlmeister Green Guard Prize. This is an international award recognizing outstanding women in biomedical science. And we have an outstanding woman in biomedical science to recognize this evening. Thank you all for coming because I think it's not only a splendid show of support for our awardee and um, the very distinguished individual who will be giving that award, but also a show of support for Paul Greengard and the other generous friends of Rockefeller who have established this prize. And I just want to say a few words about this prize because I was really very moved when I first heard the story about the creation of the Pearlmeister Greengard Prize. As most of you know, in 2000, Paul Greengard was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his discoveries about how brains work, about brain biochemistry. And this has um, great significance, not only for its basic biological understanding, but also for uh, many diseases. But what you may not know, however, is that Paul and his wife, Ursula, donated the entire monetary share of the Nobel Prize to create this Pearl Meister Green Guard Prize for Outstanding Women Scientists. It's Paul's passionate belief that women are not yet receiving the awards and honors to a level commensurate with their achievements. He was determined to use his new prominence as a Nobel laureate to address this very issue. Thus, Paul and Ursula between them decided to establish this major international prize named in the memory of Paul's mother, Pearl Meister Greengard, who sadly died giving birth to him. Awarded annually by the Rockefeller University, the prize honors a woman whose achievements in biomedical research merit international recognition. By focusing attention on the accomplishments of women scientists, the prize seeks to increase the likelihood that they will receive further recognition, including maybe the Nobel Prize itself. When others learned of Paul's wonderful idea, a number of Rockefeller's most um, dedicated supporters came forward to contribute to the endowment of this prize. Last year, the inaugural award was presented to Dr. Nicole Le Duran, a professor at the College de France and secretary of the Academy of Sciences, a true pioneer in the field of, de de of developmental biology. And we were, of course, honored on that occasion to have Justice Sandra Day O'Connor um, present her with the prize. Tonight, we are here to celebrate the presentation of this award to Dr. Philippa Marek, Professor of Molecular Biology and Immunology at the National Jewish Medical and Research Center in Denver, Colorado. Dr. Marek is one of the world's most influential immunologists. We are honoring her tonight for her revolutionary discoveries, made in partnership mostly with her husband and collaborator, John Kapler, about the immune system's T cells. This research is helping to explain their ability to recognize infection, their involvement in allergy, and their role in autoimmune diseases, such as juvenile di diabetes, lupus, and arthritis. Dr. Marek also identified and named superantigens, potent immunological activators that induce toxic shock and other illnesses. Not only is Pippa an accomplished scientist, she also happens to be the mother of one of our recent graduates here at Rockefeller University, sitting in the second row, James Kapler, a member of um, Jim Hudspeth's lab who graduated in 2004. So connections to the university abound. We will have an opportunity to learn more about Pippa's journey in science a little later. 
But now I want to turn to Helen Thomas. We are greatly honored to have the trailblazing journalist Helen Thomas with us today, who will offer some personal reflections on this occasion and to help us present the Pearlmeister Green Guard Prize. Perhaps she is best known to political watchers as the longtime White House correspondent for United Press International. Ms. Thomas sat front and center at presidential press conferences for decades. A pioneering woman working in journalism at the national level, she has covered the daily White House beat for every president since J.F. Kennedy. Ms. Thomas had the distinction of traveling around the world with a number of presidents, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, and Clinton, during the course of which she covered every economic summit. She left UPI in 2000, now writes a syndicated column for Hearst Newspapers. Please join me in welcoming Helen Thomas to the podium. <laughs> 